एस प्रोफेसर एंड हेड सिविल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट वॉलचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर सो लेट एस डिस्कस अबाउट डिजाइन ऑफ डॉग लेग स्टेप लर्निंग आउटकम्स एट द एंड ऑफ सेशन द लर्नर्स विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन द प्रोसीजर फॉर डिटर्मिनिंग द इफेक्टिव हॉरिजॉन्टल स्पैन एंड इफेक्टिव थिकनेस ऑफ वे स्लैब फॉर ईच फ्लाइट ऑफ ए डॉग लेग स्टेप एंड ऑल्सो टू डिटर्मिन द री एनफोर्समेंट रिक्वायर्ड फॉर ईच फ्लाइट एंड स्केच द री एनफोर्समेंट डिटेलिंग अरेंजमेंट introduction staircase is a means of giving access to two different floors of or levels of a building and are used to in almost all buildings it consists of number of steps arranged in a way that the person can move from one level to another level the arrangement of steps is as per the convenience and as per the standards and the space availability The common stairs used are as follows: straight stairs, quarter turn stairs, open well stairs, dog legged stairs, circular and spiral stairs. So further, we have folded stairs also. So figure one shows the different types of stairs. So this is straight stair. In a straight stair, if the number of steps are more than fifteen, then we go for with a mid landing in a straight stair also. Then next, this is quarter turn stair. Uh, this is quarter turn stair with winders and this is a open well stair with half landing and this is open well stair with a quarter landing and this is the dog legged stair which we are going to discuss today and this is a circular stair and this is a spiral stair which is usually used for water tanks so this this figure shows the elements of stairs so figure 2 shows the elements of stairs so in the elements of stairs we are having tread then we are having rise rise is the height of each particular step and the portion which is horizontal that is called going and here a, any projection of this upper one upper uh, flooring that is called as nosing so this is the waste slab at the bottom this is thickness of waste slab and this is landing portion now let us discuss each rise rise is the vertical distance between the two successive steps is termed as riser or rise tread the horizontal top portion of the step where foot rests is known as a tread the nosing it comes it in some cases tread is having projected is projected outward to increase the space so this projection is designated as nosing waste the thickness of waste slab on which the steps are made to known as the waste slab that is made to rest are known as a waste slab then going going is the horizontal portion between the first and the last risers on an inclined flight inclined flight is inclined waste slab it is landing a landing is the area of the floor near the top or bottom step of a stair and in an indent and intermediate land intermediate landing is a small platform uh, that is built as a part of the uh, allow stair to hang proje projections directions uh, to change the directions or to allow the user to rest his feet dog leg stair so this is the most commonly used stair since the succeeding flight rise rise in opposite direction and occupies minimum plan area a landing is provided corresponding to the level at which the direction of flight changes a plan of the dog leg stair is shown in figure number 3 this is figure number 3 this shows the plan of a dog leg stair here you will find so this is up and for, from the beginning then up this is mid landing so mid landing again there will be a change in direction for design of dog leg stair vertical distance between the floors that is h is to be given the assume the width of the stair shall be minimum 1 meter for residential building and 1.2 meter for public building so the rise are usually 170 mm for residential building and 150 mm for public buildings and tread t 
it is 250 mm for residential building and 300 mm for public building. So depending upon the nature of building and availability of space, we have to assume the, uh, the width of the stair, rise and tread. Then this is a plan. <coughs> now the design of dog-legged stair. Dog-legged stair always consists of two flights. So height of each flight, the floor to floor height divided by 2 that is h by 2. So no risers in each flight, no, sorry number of risers in each flight is equal to the height, height of each flight divided by rise. So the number of treads in each flight is number of risers minus 1. So if we get number of risers some uh, real number then we have to round it to the next one. Effective span. The stair slab spanning longitudinally depending upon the supports the effective span is the horizontal distance between center to center of the supports. Load calculations. To determine the dead load of the waste slab it is necessary to assume the effective thickness of the waste slab which is 120 to 125th of the effective span. The total thickness T is effective thickness plus the effective cover. To find the total load per meter horizontal width of stair, weight of waste slab is equal to T into square root of 1 plus R by T square into density of concrete. Weight of steps, half R into T into T divided by T that is to bring it to horizontal portion into density of concrete. Dead load on going portion is weight of waste slab plus weight of steps plus weight of finishing. Dead load on on loading portion, landing portion is weight of slab plus waste slab plus weight of finishing. Assuming the weight of finishing, assume, assume the weight of finishing as maximum one kilonewton per meter square. The live load is to be taken as per IS eight seventy five part two. The total load is dead load plus live load. Total factor load is one point five times the total load. The projected loading diagram for a total factor load is shown in figure 4. The loading, the loading on the loading, loading on the going portion as is landing and going portion are same or not. Can you guess whether the loading will be same on, and on the landing portion and going portion? The loading on the landing and going portion are different. So here we have only the, the dead weight of the waste slab and live load. And here in the going portion we have dead weight of the waste slab, then the live load and dead weight of steps also. So that, that's why there is a difference between the loading on the landing and loading on the going steps or going portion. Then determination of maximum design bending moment. The maximum bending moment uh, will be at the center of the flight because loading is symmetrical and find the support reactions first then afterwards find MU limit it is 0.36 FCK B into XU limit into D minus 0.4 to XU limit. XU limit is equal to 0.48 for FE405, 0.46 D for FE500 and 0.53 D for mild steel. Compare MU limit with MU, if MU is less than MU limit, it is under reinforced section, find the area of longitudinal steel. Find the area of longitudinal steel by this particular expression, EST is equal to 0.5 FCK BD upon FY into 1 minus square root of 1 minus 4.6 MU upon FCK BD square. Find the spacing from uh, the below formula, SV is equal to 0.87 FY SVD divided by VUS. So find the Low, uh, find area of uh, distribution steel it is 0.12 percent of BD and spacing using the ABU formula. Draw neat sketch and detailed sketch shows the stairs showing the reinforcement arrangement as shown in figure number 6. <coughs> Sorry, figure number 6 shows the sketch of reinforcement arrangement. So here we find this is landing slab, this is waste slab which is inclined, <coughs> Sorry. this is again upper landing slab. 
So in the landing portion, we find only the dead weight of landing slab as well as the dead weight of the finishing portion and the live load. And in the going portion, this is going portion from first riser to last riser, it is going portion. So in the going portion, we have the weight of waste slab plus weight of steps. Therefore, the load is more here. And at the end, again on the landing slab, same as the, this one. So now here, we are having sagging bending moment at center. Therefore, the main steel is provided at the bottom side. And this is the main steel, which is at the bottom side. And here it is taken up as the upper steel. Because of fixity, we have a negative bending moment also here. And again, to take the negative bending moment out of partial fixity, there is the top steel here also. And perpendicular to this particular slide, you find the dots. So these dots are distribution steel. So the bottom one is main steel and the upper dots are distribution steel. So this is how the uh, reinforcement arrangement is to be made for a the dog legged stair. So each flight is similar, therefore similar portion. And here if you find this particular portion, you find the, uh, the reinforcement arrangement is just like a Caesar. So therefore it is also uh, very famously known as Kaichi Jena on the field. So these are the references used. So advanced RCC Bhavi Ketti and then uh, other authors also and IS 456 2000 and thank you one and all.